Hey, how's it going? This video is about unless the days were shortened. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the scripture so you kind of know what I'm talking about. Matthew 24, 22. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. And my question is to you, do you feel like the days are becoming shorter? No matter what season it is. Does it just feel like, man, the day is just going by so fast? <clears throat> um, this topic was brought up today, and I kind of feel like the Holy Spirit is leading me to talk about this. But I don't know about you, but it just seems like time is just going by so by, so fast. You know, uh, every day it's just like, wow, it's already nighttime. Wow, I'm already going to bed. You know, wow, I'm already t waking up, and the day goes by fast, you know. <clears throat> but, uh... Is is God really shortening the day? I mean, is this really taking place? Uh, yes, He is. So far, it hasn't been by much. But, what if there is an earthquake coming, you know, not like anything seen before, you know? What if something huge takes place and it really shortens the day? But, uh, let me go ahead and read some stuff to let you see that the days actually have been getting shorter. Uh, it may not be by much, but... It's still happening. Uh, <clears throat> the massive earthquake that struck Japan last Friday was so... That, now, this is a post that was uh, a while back, but <clears throat> anyway. Last Friday was so powerful that it accelerated the Earth's rotation speed, shortening the length of the day by 1.8 microseconds. A new analysis by NASA has claimed, according to the scientists at the U.S. Space Agency, the 8.9 magnitude quake shifted the way the Earth's mass is distributed distributed, which made the planet spin a little faster, cutting the 24-hour day in an estimated 1.8 microseconds. That is less than two millionths of one second. Now, <clears throat> let me read the second one before I get into the other, what I'm fixing to say. Uh, this isn't the first time a huge earthquake has changed the length of the Earth's day. Major tremblers have shortened day lengths in the past. While the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake in Chile last year also sped up the planet's rotation and shortened the day by 1.26 microseconds, the 9.1 Sumatra quake in 2004 shortened the day by 6.8 microseconds. Okay, now although this, this time is minuscule, I mean it hasn't even equaled up to one second yet, but this what I want to point out is, is this planet was fine-tuned by God. God finely tuned everything perfectly. Now these earthquakes are shifting the earth and causing the days to be shorter. Just like scripture says. Now like I said, yes, this is on a very minuscule, minute scale. But, as I was saying a while ago, what if a bigger earthquake was to happen? You know, how much more would it shorten the day? And <clears throat> also what I want to point out is, is what if these, these little changes in the earth are going to start becoming more frequent? You know, and bigger earthquakes and more disasters. Because if you notice in the news and, and go on YouTube and look it up, but just look at all these crazy disasters that are happening. You know, it's like, wow, man. You know, I... I know the internet age has really been booming, but whenever I was in school, I never heard of a massive sinkhole. You know, I never heard of anything like that, but they're popping up everywhere. And I've never heard of thousands of fish just washing ashore and birds dying left and right. You know, and <clears throat> today I, uh, somebody posted something on Facebook that in Kima, thousands of fish. Uh, washed ashore and Kima is close to Galveston you know a place where I grew up gr grew up around that area and it's just this stuff is happening you know close to home you know uh, a couple years ago a uh, uh, hundred or so blackbirds just dropped dead over a dam my mom was crossing she stopped to take a picture of it I mean it's just stuff that's happening around everybody you know it's not just in one location this stuff is happening all over the place. 
And what I'm saying is, is what if all these little occurrences that are happening are causing all these anomalies, causing all these fish to die and causing the birds to die and even cattle are dropping dead randomly with no diseases or anything explanation about it. You know, it's just weird stuff left and right happening. You know, all these earthquakes. Yeah, earthquakes have always been, but not so frequent. You know, it's like if you look on these little seismic, seismograms or whatever they post it's like every all over the world all you know every day like just everywhere and you know and these huge tsunamis and just hurricanes and tornadoes and yes we've all had that kind of stuff but it's just more so now and <clears throat> it just seems to me that these things are just going to keep progressing you know and all these are fulfillments of scripture and uh, Jesus calls it the birth pains before his arrival, basically. And, uh, you know, uh, you might be skeptical and you may be saying, whatever, you know, it's always been this way. And uh, that too even is a fulfillment of prophecy. Uh, <clears throat> says there will come scoffers who say, hey, it's always been this way. You know, ever since our fathers was, it is today, you know. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to, post a couple links that you can study this topic out a little bit more at the end of this video. Uh, you, there might be a different interpretation out there about the shortening of the day. You know, it could, the interpretation could be, you know, he's just going to shorten the time frame uh, of when Jesus will come. You know, he's not going to prolong it so much to where nobody will be saved. But uh, that, that's another interpretation. But I just thought, you know, the Holy Spirit really brought it to my attention. You know, I wasn't even planning on doing this, this kind of spur of moment thing. But because me and my grandma and my, my wife were talking about it, you know, it just feels like the days are just going by so fast. And I was thinking, and then, you know, the Holy Spirit brought to my attention the shortening of the day. And I was like, man, you know, I also heard about, you know, the days actually have been shortened from earthquakes, you know, and then I studied up on it a little bit more, and I was like, man, this is, this is pretty crazy, you know. I mean, Scripture even says it, but like I said, uh, I'm going to post some, some links, click on them at the end of this video, and uh, leave your comments. If you have a comment you want to leave, you know, uh, what your opinion is, of course, be decent, you know. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, brain bash anybody over here with my opinions I'm just posting my opinion you know if you have a nice comment you want to leave so other people can get input go ahead uh, but anyway um, God bless you and uh, hope that you're interested in some of the things that I've been talking about God bless you